women that met in the final to crown the inaugural champion of death before the bell has sounded officially and we are off and it's alizé and roxy and in the corner quick tag being made let's go behind there high angle takedown so proud of him. oh alizé oh come on biting the fingers i guess i was just a, now there's a tag roxy Oh, oh no! She's good. in a sleeper hold and she's not. How strong are they? Oh, my goodness! Oh, down. Oh, oh no! Max stacks them up! Parading them around. Dumps them both! Oh! Oh, come on! Uh, yeah. Come on! Yeah. CCB and Silas Young feeling out process here. Connor and Elbow tie up, shoots them off. Tries Former to partners in Mexico Squad. Good man, shoulder mm. tackle though. By the beefy Flamita. Drops down. Tag wow. made to Flip Gordon. Flip Gordon, big drop yeah. kick. Flip Gordon, the back flip. David! Brock CB inside out on O'Shea. And McCaw Matt! David! That does the trick. And oh, right Flamita! The played it at the same time. Wow! Up and over. Beautiful! Hey. Ray Orris. Hey, Orris. 450! 450 on CB! Hooks the leg. One, two, three! Wow. Oh, and he's look at trying, to, trying to choke slam Shane Marlowe. Taylor off the rope. Oh, oh last with a big pump again. Oh, oh, God! Uh, this is the dissension that, that you don't need. Oh, yeah. Wow! Oh, yeah. Wow! Oh, yeah. And the oh, 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 Driver! The champions retain. And I promise you that. Hi, I'm from McKay, and it's the start of November, which is absolutely bananas because it has been a crazy year, but it's gone by very very quickly and we've had some amazing wrestling moments in 2021 and I promise you that we're going to continue creating excellence weekly and close out the year with a bang at final battle on December 11th. Our TV show has been on fire and this weekend is the huge championship edition of ROH TV. Stay tuned until the end of the show as we're celebrating by showing the main event of the first ever championship edition of TV from 2014 with then ROH world champion Jay Briscoe defending against Mike Bennett. One of the marks that works here, and by that I mean his actual name is Mark, please don't get offended. We literally just employ a lot of people named Mark. Anyway, he worked very hard to find this footage, so trust me, you do not want to miss that. This weekend's championship edition of Ring of Honor TV, we will see gigantic matches. Two of them, actually. And the main event is for the ROH World Championship. At Death Before Dishonor, Alex Zane returned to ROH and won the Honor Rumble, earning him a shot at Bandito's Ring of Honor Championship. Zane has a win over Bandito in the past, and this weekend he has the opportunity to win the world title. Let's take a closer look. Wait a minute, what? Him up. What? He got him! He got him! I see Bandito wins the world championship. And I think to myself, self, you've beat this guy. You beat him in the middle of the ring with the taco driver, and I know that I can do it again. But this time, I'm gonna beat you for the ROH world championship. The sauce is coming, so why don't you come and get a little taste. Say, I know over a year ago, you beat me, and I know you learned a lot of the new things, but I don't think that's gonna be enough to beat me this time. Now, I'm the most wanted champion. I remember everything is possible. Also on the upcoming championship edition of ROH TV, the Ring of Honor Pure Championship is on the line as the technical beast Josh Woods puts his title up against, for the first time ever, the Ace of Space, LSG. LSG has worked his way up the Pure rankings for months, and now he's one step closer to winning his first Ring of Honor championship. Let's hear from both of these athletes now. Josh, we're boys. We're friends. I've seen you since the first day you walked into Ring of Honor. We've been side by side, traveled together, trained together. 
But Ring of Honor, this wasn't a backup plan for me. This wasn't a second option for me. They can teach pro wrestling, but what they can't teach is passion. It's love for Ring of Honor. What I've had since I was 15 years old. Can you say that about yourself? That is pure wrestling. And that's why I, the ace of space, LSG, will be your next Ring of Honor pure wrestling champion. Ring of Honor pure title. Some of the best wrestlers in the world have had this. Now Josh Woods, the technical beast, has solidified himself among those men. LSG, I don't care about how close we are as friends. I don't care about how great you are in the ring. Not today. The latest edition of ROH TV, which is available right now on our YouTube page and highly recommended, was our Halloween episode. And in the main event, Shane Taylor and SOS successfully defended the Ring of Honor six-man tag team championships against Danhausen, PCO, and Sledge. Danhausen's team completely well, imploded, and it's probably safe to say that we'll see PCO visit Sledge at some point in a violent way very soon. Anyway, let's go to Brian Zane, who caught up with the chance immediately following the bout. Well, I lost my Halloween costume somehow, but three guys who are not losers tonight are the World Six-Man Tag Team Champions, STP, another successful defense. Guys, how does it feel? Trick or treat, boys! Who's knocking at your door, huh? It's STP. Another defense in the books. Another ladder, another rung on the ladder. We're gonna tell you boys again. We are now the longest reigning champions in Ring of Honor. Who's left? Violence Unlimited, you wanna step up? Foundation, you ready to get beat down again? Briscoes, you grab somebody. EC3, bring your ass and you bring two people. It doesn't matter to us. Whether the people that sign the checks here like it or not, we run this company. We lead this company. We ain't going nowhere. Lead is lead from the front. <laughs> and who's going to tell them no? Oh, Nobody. <laughs> The Halloween episode of TV also saw myself and Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Roxy unfortunately fall short against Miranda Alizé and Max the Impaler. I think personally that we had Miranda's number, but Max is, Max is hard to predict. I, I cannot quite crack the code that is Max the Impaler. Uh, unfortunately, I also spent some time in the wasteland afterwards and have since acquired an affinity for doll heads as decor, which is confusing. Let's hear from Miranda after the match. It was a scary sight here on the Halloween episode of ROH TV when Maxie Impaler made her presence known, helping Miranda Alizé in that match against Roxy and Quinn McKay. Miranda, I have to ask you, what is the nature of your relationship with Max and Amy Rose? There is no relationship with me, Max, or Amy Rose, or anybody in the locker room, okay? I paid Amy to do a job, they got the job done, and now the Lucha Baddie is back to business because as far as I'm concerned, Little Miss Innocent has my property and is still unfit to be a champion. And how dare backstage interviewer Quinn McKay and Little Miss Innocent come together and try to form a little click on my watch? No, 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 no. Now, Roxy, I know that you love to be a part of the click. But as you know, I will put you down and I will put all of your friends down and I will do it in front of you if I have to until I get what rightfully belongs to me, the Ring of Honor Women's Championship. All right, strong words from Lucha Batty. She is out for gold against Roxy. Also on the Halloween episode of ROH TV, we saw a wild card trick or treat Halloween tag team four corner survival, where the teams were chosen at random by me. And when it was all said and done, the unique team of Ray Oris and Silas Young were standing strong as the winners. Let's go backstage to Brian Zane following that unconventional match. Strange things are happening in the Halloween episode of Ring of Honor TV, that wild card four corner tag team match. Silas, you and Ray Oris are uh, strange bedfellows hey, in this hey, thing. Hey, Wait. Hey, hey, hey. 
Silas, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? That was me doing what I have to do to win the match. Not like you out there worrying about getting in the ring doing little double teams with your buddy Flamita. You know what? What? <sighs> Forget you. Yeah. Forget me. See, that's the, exactly the problem with these guys. They ain't got thick skin. When you hear the name The Last Real Man, that name is spoken synonymously with Ring of Honor. And as far as I'm concerned, that's my job here. That's my job is to teach these young guys to do what it takes to win a match, to get the job done. Is that good enough for you, microphone man? You got more stuff you want to say? That's what I thought. Nope. Uh, you pretty much covered everything that needed to be said. Silas Young, everyone. That wild card trick-or-treat Halloween tag team four-corner survival also saw Flip Gordon team with Matt Taven. For those wondering, yes, it does seem like Flip still thinks it's 2018. To bring you up to speed, at Glory by Honor back in August, we saw Mark Briscoe give a J-driller to Flip Gordon onto a chair. It was clear after the match that Flip was not in his right state of mind, to put it simply. Then, at Death Before Dishonor, Flip made his entrance in the Honor Rumble, it was like we all traveled back in time to 2018, sans DeLorean. Then, self-proclaimed doctor, PJ Black, took a special interest in Flip and began to study, treat, and, I suppose, try to rehabilitate him. The last we saw these two together, we saw PJ give Flip a potion of some kind. So, let's pick up where we left off. What will it do? You'll see. championship being defended for the very first time since 2006 caprice and there's a man who felt slighted that he was not included in the pure championship tournament a man with an mma background former state champion wrestler in the state of montana he's a guy that can wrestle the pure style and he's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder heading into this match caprice and he got the opportunity and he proved himself big win over josh the goods woods heading into five This just gets weirder and weirder. So on um, on Sunday, November 14th, we'll be airing Honor for All. This is an excellent thing to talk about instead. A special exclusive to Honor Club with six big matches. This is definitely one that you're going to want to check out. So subscribe to Honor Club if you haven't already. And let's now check out the stacked card for that event. Again, Honor For All premieres on Honor Club on Sunday, November 14th, and on Saturday, December 11th, Ring of Honor returns to Baltimore's Chesapeake Employers Insurance Arena for final battle. This event will be live on pay-per-view and streaming live for Honor Club. Pre-sale for Honor Club members is ongoing, and tickets for the general public go on sale this Friday, November 5th at 10 a.m., so mark your calendars now and join us live and in person in Baltimore. Our friends Wrestle Carnival in the United Kingdom have another event coming up as well on November 14th, and that event features Joe Hendry versus former ROH Pure Champion Doug Williams in a Pure Rules match. That will be an incredible matchup that we hope to air right here on a future week by week. Check out at Wrestle Carnival on social media for more info, and let's go to Joe Hendry now for his 60-second breakdown. This is Joe The Answer here and it's the Technique Tuesday's 60 second breakdown. Today we're going to be talking about the greatest Ring of Honor legend in the history of professional wrestling. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> it's of course Joe The Answer because I have changed everything including the moves. New finisher. Once more trying for it. Hendry's got him up. Joe Hendry, what a power bomb. What a power bomb. When it came, it was brutal, and Hendry uses it to defeat Leighton Buzzard. We're going to take the classic Psycho Sid 
power bomb and you give it a little update. Here's what you do. You take the start, same as the pop-up power bomb. I'm not gonna waste energy dragging them up. Throw them into the air, catch them on the shoulders. Then what I'm gonna do, instead of just sitting out and bringing the opponent down, I'm gonna use me jumping into the air as extra momentum, almost like the last ride, but instead of standing or dropping and sitting down, I'm gonna bring the knees down. So it's a pop-up, jumping, kneeling, Power bomb. It just doesn't get better than that, does it? I mean, poor Leighton Buzzard. The boy hasn't been seen since. This move is hopefully going to be debuting in a Ring of Honor ring sooner rather than later. But here's the deal. Let me know in the comments what should the move be called. All right, Joe the answer. Back over to you. Remember, the ROH Strong Podcast drops every Monday, so please check that out with host Kevin Eck. And speaking of Kevin Eck, he breaks news all the time in his weekly X-Files article on ROHwrestling.com. Other articles that we put out include A Dose of Colemanism by Caprice Coleman and much, much more. Also, there's the Best on the Planet 24-7 streaming channel on the Stir and Plex apps. Plus, get some cool merch at ShopHonor.com. Scan this QR code and share your thoughts and opinions about all things ROH in our Facebook group and hashtag choose your honor. Now it's time for this week's exclusive match. It's from episode 162 of the championship edition of ROH TV from 2014 and was for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Jay Briscoe versus Mike Bennett. Like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon down below. I'm Quinn McKay, and I'll see you next week on Week by Week. It's time for our main event, championship edition of Ring of Honor Wrestling. The world title is on the line. So Nigel, what we saw two weeks ago in the Honor Rumble, Bennett wins, Cole seems scorned. Last week, perhaps some jealousy starting to form, but I've got to wonder, what do you think Maria might have whispered in Cole's ear that changed things? I don't know. You mentioned before when Cole was wrestling, perhaps there's some kind of an agreement. Perhaps that's what she did. She broke in an agreement, and whether there's any truth to it, whether there will be any reality at the end of the day, we'll come to find out. But she said something that changed Adam Cole's mind. So Michael Bennett, all the promise in the world, there's no doubt about that. He holds the title of love, as he calls it. That was Jay Briscoe's belt at one time. Camouflage, shell casings. Beer cans and rednecked out, no doubt about it, but pink fur and smoochy kisses. That's just got to boil Jay Briscoe's eggs to no end. But they're fighting for something more here this week. The biggest prize in professional wrestling, the Ring of Honor World Championship. Reach for the sky, boy. He was going to go for Jay Briscoe tonight, baby. Wow! And I'm not sure there's been a more passionate world champion than Jay Briscoe. He was here on the very first Ring of Honor show ever. He's still here today. There's a reason for that. As he breathes, he sweats, and he bleeds, Ring of Honor. Many wondered if, if Jay Briscoe could do, but some had said it could never be done, and that was beat unbreakable Michael Elgin. But Briscoe was able to do it in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, become a two-time world champion. And he makes his first title event here on television. And for the championship introductions, once again, let's go to Bobby Cruz. Following contest is your television main event. It is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Introducing first, to my left, the challenger. He is accompanied by the first lady of ROH, Maria Canellis, wrestling out of South Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing 227 pounds, he's representing the Kingdom 
Michael Bennett. His opponent to my right, wrestling out of Sandy Fork, Delaware. Weighing 231 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Champion, G. Briscoe! Your Ring of Honor World Championship match is next. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. We're back on Ring of Honor Wrestling. Todd Sinclair holds the World Championship and that's what's on the line here in our main event. Championship edition, Ring of Honor Wrestling, all three titles at stake. So far, Red Dragon retained over the decade. Jay Lethal retained the television title over a surprising hard-fought victory over Will Ferrar. But here in our main event, it's Michael Bennett versus Jay Briscoe. Whoa. These two men are not strangers, Nigel. Absolutely not. You know, I think Bennett's taken umbrage to the Briscoes on a number of occasions. Try to get in their head. Briscoes, they just keep on coming. One thing about Briscoe as champion that a lot of people haven't really noticed, a lot of times to become Ring of Honor World Champion, you chase that champion again and again and again. And I remember when I was a champion, I was beat half to death by the time I actually wore the belt. Jay Briscoe hasn't been beaten in two years. That is an amazing feat when you think about it. Cover, early pinning combination attempt there from Bennett. Has not tasted a loss in a singles match in two years. And Briscoe fights back now again. He is the face of Ring of Honor. He is the heart and soul of this company. Many times, Jay Briscoe not politically correct. Says what's on his mind. But he is who he is. There's no doubt about it. And Jay Briscoe is a two-time Ring of Honor World Champion. As Briscoe pounds away on Bennett in the corner, now sends him across. Here comes Brillo out of the way. Ripping right hand from Bennett. Both these guys are going to try and get their hands up when people throw those punches in. Suplex two, and Jay Briscoe kicks out. You get caught in the jaw, Kevin, you get knocked out cold. That's why you see a lot of guys nowadays wearing those mouth guards. You keep biting your teeth down. Briscoe's got a laceration on the right side of his head as he comes back to his feet. Caught. Oh. Slings Bennett into the second turnbuckle. Oh. That'll be something to keep an eye on as this bench wears down. That cut not in a position where it could obstruct Briscoe's vision. Cut forearm, Bennett crumbling into the corner. Adam Cole not out here. Conspicuous by his absence, Nigel? I was or about was... to say that. Uh, he's watching it from somewhere, I guarantee. I think perhaps it's probably maybe a little bit too difficult for him to control his emotions were he to be out here. Maybe thought discretion the better part of valor and staying in the back watching this somewhere else. Yeah, but certainly if the plan is to is to unseat Jay Briscoe and to bring the title into the kingdom, certainly no one has proven to be more distractionary for Jay Briscoe than Adam Cole. Well, this is true, but is that Adam Cole's plan? Or does he have something else going on in his head? Well, the mastermind of all things in the kingdom is that beautiful red-headed lady who watches Michael Bennett get Sent into the corner, close line, snap mare. Here comes Briscoe, boot. Champion looking strong. The challenger, wobbly legged. Oh. And out to the floor goes Michael Bennett. Little trip on the way through there. Come on, Briscoe. 
Giving him time, though. I do want to make mention of this, Nigel. Of course, next week, uh, you've, you've granted the request of Tommaso Ciampa for face-to-face -face next week. Yeah, Here. you know, like, I'm not one of these guys that want to... Uh, some things, obviously, are better off talked in privacy, but I want to have everybody see and explain the situation. So there could be no confusion. No misunderstanding. Okay, good. Well, that'll be next week, plus our big main event. Reborn, Matt Seidel, one-on-one. -on -one. Phenomenal AJ Styles. That's our main event next week, but what a main event this week. Michael Bennett just sends the world champion, Jay Briscoe, into the barricade. And Briscoe's title is at stake, ladies and gentlemen. Championship edition, Ring of Honor Wrestling, all the titles on the line. I mean, what do you think of this strategy, Kevin? Taking it outside of the ring. Who do you think that favors? Ah! Jay Briscoe? I'm gonna kill him. Or Mike Bennett? Well, Bennett has proven time and time again he will do whatever it takes to win, including risking his own life and limb out here in what normally would be Briscoe territory. We have got to take a commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. But the Ring of Honor World Championship hangs in the balance. Briscoe, Bennett, don't go anywhere. We're back on Ring of Honor Wrestling. Jay Briscoe defending the world title against Michael Bennett. Those jabs measuring each one stronger than the next. A slight cut that was on the side, the right side of Jay Briscoe's head has closed, has not been a factor. Briscoe now turning Bennett over. Neckbreaker, no. Countered by Michael Bennett. Bennett trying to take a page out of Briscoe's book. There we are, the ratchet neckbreaker of Jay Briscoe. Finally get it. Cover two. Too weak of a cover, though, and I hate to say it, a veteran like Jay Briscoe. Almost no body weight across the shoulders. Funnily enough, Mike Bennett, maybe he's just so used to, kicked out with the right side. And that was the shoulder that actually being pinned to the mat. Bennett in trouble, clearly now. Scrambling for an idea. Up on the shoulders of Briscoe. Bennett. Trying to fight his way out of it. Watch out, Todd Sinclair. Oh, super kick! Lovely, just right on the side of the jaw. Briscoe wouldn't go down, refused to go down. This Jay, is it. Jay Driller. Look at this now. He hasn't been beaten in two years, but Jay Briscoe might have to tap out. Has that on tight, Anaconda Vice, I think. Has not been pinned, has not submitted, two years, and Jay Briscoe gets to that bottom rope. I mean, you've got to ask yourself, Kevin, if he hasn't been pinned or submitted in singles competition for two years, how likely is it now that the Ring of Honor World title is on the line as well? Yeah, exactly right now with that title as it is. Briscoe now, hold on. Oh, wait a second. Bennett's been barred from using the pile driver. That's great job from Todd Sinclair, standing by the rules. Hold it now. Maria's up on the apron. Went down the line for the spear. Jay got the boot up, though, in time. Oh, my God, no. Oh! oh Dick Valley Driver! Well, that's the danger, Kevin. You take someone out on the apron to cause more damage to your opponent, you know, they can do it to you just as easy. The cornerstone of Maria's kingdom could be crumbled. Is that 10? I can't hear what Sinclair is saying, but I might have tried to take the count out win there. Obviously, Jay Briscoe, a better man than me. Wants a clear win. 
Frisco now pulls himself up. After hitting that big move, he's got Bennett right where he wants him. Well, look at this, Maria has grabbed that pink belt for some reason. Drop kick! As Frisco leapt from the top rope, Michael Bennett caught him. Spear! Spear! Shoulders are down! Is this a no? Oh. Come on! And the crowd here in Wheeling trying to rally around. Briscoe. Arena floor shaking as the fans pounding on the barricade, chanting away. Shades of Matt Hardy here. This is what Adam Cole used last week to beat Cedric Alexander. Twist of fate counter by Jay Briscoe. Trying for the sleeper hole, but as we saw before, no, not close. Body's just too sweaty to hold on. Bennett almost pinned to that corner now. Like I said before, Maria Canellas on the outside with that furry pink belt. You think that's a sign of, of insecurity in her? Or do you think she's got bad intentions? Well, with Maria, she can do. Oh, wait a minute now. Right that in belt, front of the referee, that Todd Sinclair. Belt has been slid in. He's looking at it. I mean, yes, thank you. Todd Hold had no now. choice. Behind the referee's back, there was a low blow. There's going to be a new champion crowned. I can't believe it. No! Well, I didn't even see it either. Maria had all of Todd Sinclair's attention. Bennett capitalized low blow, then had Briscoe right where he wanted him. Well, what a smart move from Canellis. She had my attention. And we were less than half a count away from Jay Briscoe being pinned for the first time in two years. Michael Bennett now to the top. Yeah, oh, unfamiliar territory. And was a, a country mile away from that. This could cost him. Jay Driller! Oh, yes. One, two, he has done it. Reach for the sky. The winner of the match, and still Ring of Honor World Champion, Jay Briscoe! So some opportunities lost, perhaps, for Michael Bennett in this championship matchup, Nigel. Absolutely. You don't, opportunities like this don't come along often. You have to take them. Hold on now. Maria's going to come in with that belt. What is she thinking about? Trying to create an opportunity of her own. Oh, no. Wait Hold a second. It. Hang on. No, 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 no. Watch out! Cole! Super oh. kick to the back of the head from behind! Cole sneak attack! Here comes Mark Briscoe! Briscoe's evening up the odds! Let's get some security out of. What is that? What the hell is that? That's Matt Taven! Matt Taven! He quit the company! What the hell? What the hell is this all about? He's just flattened, Mark. Well, I'm stunned. I didn't see Matt Taven in the back. Are you kidding me? What is? What's under that shirt? Another member of the Kingdom, but this time, this time it's Matt Taven. Look at this now. Adam Cole just striking Jay Briscoe with that belt. Let's get some security out here. Briscoe's lying prone. All right, Nigel's gonna, Nigel's gonna go back and get some security. We need some help out here for the Briscoes. But the kingdom is complete now. Bennett, Maria Canellis, Adam Cole, and Matt Taven. They said Matt was coming back. Who knew it was going to be Matt Taven? 
AJ Styles versus Reborn Matt Seidel, our main event next week, fans. We will see you then.